Our team coverage continues with Gina Arevalo in Elizabeth City. And Gina, flooding caused problems for drivers this morning. Yeah, it caused a lot of problems, actually, so much that uh, schools here had to be canceled because so many roads are closed. Right now, we're on Providence Road here um, at the entrance of the Oxford Heights neighborhood. Now, flooding in this area is something that's pretty common. We were out here uh, la last year whenever Hurricane Dorian uh, impacted this area, but you can see there is a lot of water that is standing. It's very close to the road. Um, coming in, we saw a lot of water on the ground and in the farm areas. Uh, several other um, roads are closed, like I mentioned, both in Pasquotank and Camden counties. Uh, we're going to check out Salem Church Road and Griffin Swamp Road. Hopefully later today we're hearing that those are um, some pretty significant areas of flooding as well. And as Jeremy mentioned, the wind has been pretty pretty strong as we were coming in. It was moving our car, and uh, whenever we checked in with emergency management, they were letting us know that there was a tree down that was blocking the road. However, DOT was on the scene of that trying to get it out of the way. Uh, but again, we're going to be checking out the flooding here. It's, schools are closed for the time being, so we're going to try and chat with people and see how else they are being impacted by this severe weather. For now, we'll send it back to you in the studio, Madison. Thank you, Gina. And also in North Carolina, this is a look at NC-12 between the Bass Knight Bridge and Hatteras this morning. NCDOT says there is some standing water and windblown sand there on the road. NC-12 is open, but officials say you should drive carefully and watch out for crews cleaning up the road. And this is a look at NC-12 south of the bridge. You can see lots of standing water there on the road. Officials at Cape Hatteras National Seashore say there are long stretches of road that look just like this. They urge you to drive carefully. And in Hertford County, the strong winds caused whitecaps on the water. Bill Agreste sent us this video from Holiday Island. Now, we've received so many of your pictures of storm damage, so our web team put together a slideshow of them. You can find that right now on wavy.com.